Welcome back to another video on my channel. This is Legion and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do shooting in 2D. <laughs> In the Unity Editor I have a character, it's the Knight from the Knight Sprite Sheet From the Asset Store, it's free, I will leave the link at the description down below Now, I have Rigid Body 2D and a Box Collider as well as a Player Script on the Knight The Player Script handles movement, I have already made a video about this topic I will leave the video link at the top right of the screen now starting with our video the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to make an animation for the shooting the, the, the shooting animation right I've already uh, made one but I will make another one you can see it's called the night cast so I will call it night cast one right and then I am going to go to my uh, asset I'm going to get the cast animation yes shift and select all just gonna drag and drop those i'm going to spread them let's say 25 and if you want to know how to do animations all about animations i will leave the link at the top right of the screen now i'm going to make i'm going to go to the animator i'm going to add a new parameter it's a trigger and i will call this cast now going from the any state i'm going i'm going to make a transition and i'm going to make it transition duration equal to zero and i'm going to add the trigger which is called cast and here i'm going to make a transition to the night idle and i am going to make it that it has an exit time transition duration equal to zero and exit time is equal to one now I'm going to go back to my scene and I want to show you the point, the attack point of the animation. So attack point of the animation is just here. So I want my projectile, which in this case is a fireball, to shoot from this particular um, spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an empty game object. I'm going to call it fire point. And I'm going to add a gizmo to it so we can see it and i am going to click on it and move it just right there okay now what i'm going to do is i am going to make my projectile now so i'm going to take those three fireballs here i'm going to drag and drop them so this is going to tell them that we are going to make an animation for this particular game object i have already made one but i will again i'll make it to show you and here we are going to it just made a game object i'm going to rename it to only fireball i'm going to add a rigid body 2d to it i'm going to make the gravity scale into zero because i don't want it to fall due to gravity i want it to fly right and here i'm going to add a circle collider i'm going to name to make it is trigger and i'm going to modify this to be exactly like this okay that's great now uh, didn't uh, rename okay fire oh okay now i'm going to show you a very handy uh, method to kind of capture game objects without serializing it or making it public as i said before making things public is bad so what we are going to do here we are going to make a folder folder called resources you have to name this exactly like i did resources the r is capital okay and now i'm going to drag and drop the fireball into the resources folder uh, folder now this just made a prefab of it i'm going to now delete it and going back to my player script i'm going to start with my code so the first thing we are going to do is i'm going to take the input from the user so here i'm going to write if input dot get key down key code so you need get key down because if you use let's say get key uh that the, the one click on the keyboard will instantiate many fireballs so you need the get key down get key code dot left 
control you can just uh, put it as any key you want and here I'm going to start a coroutine and I'm going to call it an attack so I have already explained coroutines in a previous video but to explain it further I will do it right now so I'm going to so coroutines are basically just like uh, methods but you can delay the the, the the activation of it let's say was you want to wait one second and then you are going to uh, do a certain thing now i'm going to make to make it an attack so it's i enumerator attack and here i'm going to say yield return new wait for seconds so this is the method or the function that make it uh, so it wait i'm going to put it here so at 0.25 so this is basically the, the animation duration that I said it was 0 0.25 seconds, right? So here I'm going to say animator dot set trigger. So this is going to trigger our animation. I'm going to pass the name, which is cast. And here is going to wait. And then I want it to instantiate the fireball. So how can we do it? Here I'm going to uh, say game object i'm gonna call it a equal to instantiate uh fireball fireball okay uh here fire point dot okay does it matter now at quaternion dot identity so i'm going to make those variables right now uh here I'm going to make a game object called fireball and in the void start I'm going to capture this fireball from the resources folder as I told you we are going to write resources dot load game object uh, and we are going to pass its name so exactly as you wrote the name I wrote it with a small f so I'm going to write a small f and here it is now here I'm going to also make a serialized field I'm going to call it a, a game object it's called fire point as I specified down there now because we are going to capture our fire point that I made and I'm going to take its position so here I'm going to write the transform dot position now this is great uh, I wrote a semicolon here. It's an additional semicolon. Now I'm going to set the velocity of this game object. So I'm going to write a dot get component rigid body 2D. So this is going to access the rigid body 2D dot velocity equal to and pay attention to this one transform dot write and I'm going to multiply by any speed. Transform the right. What is transform the right? So this is going to basically I'm going to show in the Unity editor, but this is basically going to shoot in the direction of the arrow uh, directing the x-axis. So how can we do this? So first off, I'm going to make another function. Uh, I'm going to say destroy a uh, after two f. So this is going to destroy the game object, the fireball after two seconds because we don't want it to stack on each other, right? and uh, so basically i was saying that it's going to direct the the direction to the right arrow so why did i do this because we wanted to uh, to 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 direct in the direction we are facing right so here i'm going to click see this arrow here this is the transform to try it now if i flip this this should be flipped but not there is a catch uh if you are following the movement video i made the flip x method right here doesn't really work with flipping the the axis as well so what i have done uh that i have changed a little bit here where is it okay here moving right i just commented out the sprite renderer the flip x and i added another method another way to make it it's transform the rotation equal to quaternion dot euler transform the rotation so this basically transforms the y-axis to zero when it's moving right so this flips it to the right and when it's moving left it flips it 180 degree so this now is facing left okay now this is great and uh, 
the last thing I'm going to make here, you need to actually, uh, I'll just show you, I'm just going to run, uh, showing you is better. Okay, I haven't uh, dragged the, the point, so I'm going to drag it here. Non-game object, okay, that's great. Now I'm going to hit the control and boom and boom now I can just spam this right I can just spam it spam it as much as I want so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, actually um, what is it called uh, I'm going to make some delay between the attacks and as well as I can see that the animation isn't actually working I'm not sure why I'm just perhaps I forgot something oh need to be cast just uh, uh sorry i just done goof toy now going back to the script i'm going to make this so again i'm going to re uh, right return yield return new wait for seconds so as i said it's very handy method i'm going to say let's say 0 0.5 f i'm going to make a pool up there a pool called attacked and i'm going to initialize this as false and I'm going down there, so this is just a pool, so I'm going to ask if the pool is equal to false. So here I'm just going to say not equal to attacked. So here, if I press the left control and the attack timer isn't just over yet, this is not going to attack. Now, if it is over, I want to say attacked is equal to false. And up there, I'm going to say attacked is equal to true. So when I attack, basically this is going to make it true. So I, so I can't attack anymore for 0 0.5 seconds. And then I can attack once more. Saving this. Uh, this is great. Now going to the fireball script. I made a fireball script. Okay, I'm just going to uh, re uh, read it for you. Just very simple. Rigid body fireball.rb. And actually i'm going to just show you something i'm just going to delete this right i'm going to save so this is going to just capture the rigid body and here as uh, it's unnecessary by the way because i just moved the velocity in the other script so here i'm just saying void on trigger enter 2d so if this at just the trigger the the collision collider triggered collision now this collision if it's tag is enemy is going to destroy the fireball and it's going to destroy the enemy itself now going back to the game you can see that i have the king right here and it's tagged as enemy right i'm going to also run the game and one two okay the variable player having been assigned i'm a dork <sighs> and here it is Boom, boom, boom. Uh, circulator is trigger. I'm going to again set the the fireball. And I didn't actually add the script, so I'm going to say fireball. And just like this, I added the script, and now I'm going to start the game. Don't forget to add scripts, okay? Don't be an idiot like me. And boom. Right, it just got destroyed. And you can see that the animation is working fine. And you can see, it just here with me, I'm going to click it really uh, strong. You can see this. I am spamming the key, actually. But nothing is happening, so you can see. But now I want to show you, to see, uh, sorry. I want to show you what I just the code that I deleted from the fireball. Now, if I just just to the left, went to the left and just clicked, you can see it's working. It's going to the left, but actually the fireball isn't flipping, right? So the tail is basically the head at this point. So how can we fix this? Fix this. I'm going to go back to the fireball script here. I'm going to say if the game object dot velocity actually okay i kind of kind of needed the uh, sorry i kind of needed the rigid body sorry if fireball rb dot velocity dot x is less than zero so if it's negative 
that's going to the left, it's going to transform the same uh, code that we did in the player, transform the rotation, and 180 degrees on the Y axis. So this is great. I'm going to save, just taking a little bit of time. I'm going to run once more, hitting the key. You can see it working now boom 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 and here you go you have shooting in 2d if you like that if you like this video found it informative please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this peace out